Hi, I'm Will, user Will540Art, and today I'll be talking about editing Wikipedia, specifically about how a pear tree led to this article, Cartography of New York City. This is an article that I started about a year ago, and Richard's going to put a link to it in the chat. This is a really great article that details the history of New York City. So how did I come to write this article, and how did a pear tree inspire it? Well, let me take a step back and tell you about the local chapter of New York City Wikipedia editors that I'm a part of, Wikimedia New York City. This is a local chapter that's been hosting edit-a-thons since 2009. And if you don't know what an edit-a-thon is, it's an event where Wikipedia writers get together and edit Wikipedia. If you're interested in learning more about Wikimedia New York City, the best page to follow would be this one. This is our meetup page. It's where we host all our local events and upcoming events. You can see things that we've done in the past as well. So <clears throat> during the pandemic, a friend of mine who works at this community recycling center wanted to host an online event focused around Wikipedia. So we decided to focus around Earth Day and to host an edit-a-thon online. This was in April 22, 2020. At Sure We Can, this is a place where people can bring in bottles and cans for redemption services. So at this edit-a-thon, the main article we wrote was the canner occupation article. I'll be post a link to this edit-a-thon in the chat. And you can see we, we did a number of um, we put it, we edited a number of articles focusing on environmentalism in New York City. Canner occupation is the occupation of people who collect bottles and cans as their job. So I was thinking about environment of New York City, the Wikipedia, and how can we expand the information of um, the environment of New York City on Wikipedia. And what I really love are trees and street trees and the forests of New York City. So I was like, okay. I'm going to edit, I'm going to make an article on trees on New York City. So a couple of days after this edit-a-thon, I was in the mind space of the environment of New York City. I wrote this article, Trees of New York City. Richard's going to put a link to it in the chat. This is a really great article if you love trees. I know there's a lot of mapping with trees. Uh, there's a lot of great sections to this article, notable living trees. Um, if you're interested in the history of it, you can look in history. Since this is a lightning talk, I won't get into that. But if you look in the notable deceased trees, you're like, okay, so how, how did this pear tree lead to this history, this cartography of New York City article? I know, I'm, I'm gonna get there. Okay, so if you look in these notable deceased trees, you'll see the Stuyvesant pear tree. This is a pear tree that was planted by the Dutch colonial governor of New Amsterdam at Stuyvesant Farm. So this led us to, um, Having written this article, Richard was like, oh, St Stuyvesant Farm needs an article. So we jumped in on writing Stuyvesant Farm. And as you're writing Stuyvesant Farm article, which is another great article I really recommend, I'll put a link to it in the chat, we started looking at the maps. I was like, oh, where is Stuyvesant Farm? Where can we see it on these old maps? And uh, we found a number, and then all of a sudden I had all this huge list of all these old maps. So I was like, OK, uh, what am I going to do with all these old maps? I'm going to create the cartography of New York City article right here. Put a link to the chat. So there, I don't know, I hope that wasn't too fast, but that in a lightning talk is how a pear tree led to the cartography of New York City article. And that might give you a little bit of an idea of the rabbit holes of editing Wikipedia.